Brother Lu, Brother Qin, through reading the Bible, we all know that the Jewish Pharisees condemned and resisted the Lord Jesus. But most of us still don't understand that when the Lord Jesus did his work, the Pharisees knew very well that his words had both authority and power, yet they still resisted and condemned the Lord Jesus. Yes. On the cross, they crucified him. What was their nature and their substance? Please discuss it in great detail. Yes, yes. please. Yes. Tell us. I'd like to hear more. This really needs to be understood. If we see the essence of the Pharisees' resistance of the Lord, we can grasp the essence of the pastors' and elders' resistance of Almighty God and will no longer be deceived or bound by them. Isn't this indeed true? Yes. Please talk to us about indeed. it. Indeed. It really is. Please talk to us about it. Thank God. You are correct. We believers in the Lord know that the Pharisees resisted the Lord Jesus. But what was the root as well as the true essence of their resistance? After 2,000 years, still nobody of religion knows the answer. Though the Lord Jesus' cursing of the Pharisees was written in the New Testament, no one has been able to discern the Pharisees' essence. Indeed, that is clearly true. In the last days, when Almighty God arrives, He reveals the answer. Let's read Almighty God's words. Okay. Almighty God says, Do you wish to know the root of why the Pharisees opposed Jesus? Do you wish to know the substance of the Pharisees? They were full of fantasies about the Messiah. What's more, they believed only that the Messiah would come, yet did not seek the truth of life. And so, even today, they still await the Messiah. For they have no knowledge of the way of life, and do not know what the way of truth is. How, say you, could such foolish, stubborn, and ignorant people gain God's blessing? How could they behold the Messiah? They opposed Jesus because they did not know the direction of the Holy Spirit's work, because they did not know the way of truth spoken by Jesus. And furthermore, because they did not understand the Messiah. And since they had never seen the Messiah and had never been in the company of the Messiah, they made the mistake of paying empty tribute to the name of the Messiah while opposing the substance of the Messiah by any means. These Pharisees in substance were stubborn, arrogant, and did not obey the truth. The principle of their belief in God is, no matter how profound your preaching, no matter how high your authority, you are not Christ unless you are called the Messiah. Are these views not preposterous and ridiculous? Amen. Amen. The Pharisees' view was absurd. Everyone. Almighty God says it so clearly. Yes. The Pharisees' resistance of the Lord Jesus stemmed from their lack of reverence and not searching for the truth. You see, deep down, they were stubborn, arrogant, and didn't obey the truth. The Pharisees defined God within their own conceptions, within the literal words of the Bible. They kept the Messiah in name only. No matter how the Lord Jesus' words are the truth, how much authority and power His words have, because His name is not Messiah, they opposed and condemned Him. True. Their principles of faith are just as Almighty God says. No matter how profound your preaching, no matter how high your authority, 
You are not Christ unless you are called the Messiah. Not only did the Pharisees reject the truths expressed by the Lord Jesus, they tempted him and tried to find fault with him. For instance, they tempted the Lord Jesus by asking what authority he used to perform miracles and asked the Lord Jesus if they could pay taxes to Caesar and if he himself was the Son of God, Christ, and so on. The Lord Jesus, in response, struck back at their evil plans with truth and wisdom. Yes. Yes, yes indeed. The Pharisees couldn't refute him, and yet they still didn't search for the truth. They not only resisted the Lord Jesus, they had him arrested and even demanded that he be nailed to the cross. Yes, it's true. yes, it's true. It was exactly as the Lord Jesus said, But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? Amen. 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 Thus we can see that the Pharisees, in nature and essence, were satanic demons, enemies of God that hated the truth. That's yes, true. that's right. That's true. Yes. Brothers and sisters, what kind of man can actually hate and condemn Christ? The Pharisees could. Yes, that's right. Yes. The Pharisee's story demonstrates one main fact. All who believe in God but do not love truth are weary of truth and hate the truth, do not know God. In addition, these people surely resist God and take him as their enemy. Indeed. Because the essence of Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. Amen. Amen. And so, anyone who hates the truth necessarily also hates Christ. Mm, that's right. Many people who actually hate the truth seem good on the outside. Outwardly, they follow the Bible's rules and do not seem evil at all. However, when Christ comes to do his work, these satanic enemies of God will be completely and utterly exposed. Thank the Lord, this is the truth. Indeed. The Pharisees' resistance of the Lord Jesus exposes their demonic essence. They hate truth and resist God. Yes. It's true. We all know that when the Lord Jesus did his work, he expressed many truths, displayed many miracles, and gave people abundant grace. The Lord Jesus' work was a shock to the whole Jewish state. Many people followed the Lord Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, the Pharisees all knew if the Lord Jesus continued his work, all of the faithful in Judaism would follow him. Then Judaism would fall and their positions and jobs would disappear. Therefore, they decided to kill the Lord Jesus. Just as the Bible says, Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council, and said, What do we, for this man does many miracles? If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. Then from that day forth they took counsel together for to put him to death, in order to protect their status and meal tickets. The Pharisees colluded with the Roman government to crucify the Lord Jesus on the cross. They said, His blood be on us and on our children. As you can see, the Pharisees hated the truth and hated Christ to the point where they did not want to coexist with Christ. Yes, yes, that's right. They preferred to forsake the sin offering to crucify the Lord. They chose to commit monstrous sins, resist God, and offend God, and have their sons and grandsons cursed by nailing him who expresses the truth to redeem man, the Lord Jesus, to the cross. That is the Pharisees' satanic truth-hating nature and essence. Amen. Amen. This is true. That truly is their nature. The Pharisees are so despicable. When the Lord Jesus was cruelly nailed to the cross, the sun grew dark, the earth shook, and the curtain of the temple split. 
the Lord Jesus appeared once more after being resurrected. When people learned of these facts, many repented for their sins and turned to the Lord Jesus. Yes. As for the Pharisees, they did not repent at all. They actually became even more antagonistic enemies of the Lord Jesus. They bribed soldiers to lie and say the Lord Jesus had not truly been resurrected. The Pharisees fanatically persecuted apostles spreading the gospel of the Lord Jesus. They wished to ban the Lord Jesus' work to obtain permanent control of the religious community. Yes. Yes. The Pharisees believed in God only in name. In reality, they hated truth and resisted God. The essence of their resistance of the Lord was thus. They were trying to compete with God. They were fighting against God. The arrogance of their resistance of the Lord Jesus completely exposed their ambitions and exposed their evil satanic face. Furthermore, it exposed their anti-Christ nature, a lack of remorse, a deep hatred of the truth, and a hatred of God. Amen. Amen. The Pharisees deserve to be cursed. Brothers and sisters, let's think a bit more. Isn't that how the pastors and elders of the religious community treat Almighty God? Right. If we could clearly see how the pastors and elders resist and even condemn Almighty God, we would surely know that the Pharisees resisted and condemned the Lord Jesus in just the same way. Yes. yes. The pastors and elders resist Almighty God the same way the Pharisees resisted the Lord Jesus. Thank the Lord. Your fellowship on the words of Almighty God has really opened our eyes. Yes. yes. We now understand that the Pharisees' nature and essence is hatred of truth and resistance unto God. Yes. Yes. No right. wonder the more the Lord Jesus expressed the truth, the more the Pharisees hated him. They were resolved to nail him to the cross. Yes. The Pharisees were enemies of God and were irreconcilable with God. They truly deserved to be cursed. Amen. They yes. did deserve to be yes. cursed. Yes. The two times that God was incarnated, he exposed and condemned the Pharisees. God looks deep into a man's heart. Only God can see the essence of people's nature. If Almighty God had not exposed the satanic truth-hating and God-resisting nature of the Pharisees, and we just relied on the Bible and our pastor's interpretations of it, I fear we'd never be able to see the demonic essence of the Pharisees. Yes, yes. only God can see men's essence. Yes. yes, that's right. Brothers and sisters, 2,000 years ago, the Jewish chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees nailed the Lord Jesus to the cross. Yes. 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 2,000 years later, the religious leaders have caused history to repeat itself by nailing God to the cross again. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's indeed true. We've all seen that. Almighty God carries out the work of judgment beginning with God's house in the last days. He expresses truths that can cleanse and save humanity. He reveals all mysteries of God's management plan. He judges and exposes man's satanic nature that resists and betrays God. He shows them his righteous disposition, which cannot be offended. Amen. Amen. Almighty God's words are the truth. They have authority and power. Amen. And fully convince us. Amen. Indeed. Furthermore, these truths cleanse and save humanity. Amen. Amen. Thanks, be, Thanks to be to the Lord. Look at today's pastors and elders. They don't care how Almighty God's words are the truth, how much authority and power His words have, how they can cleanse and save man. Stubbornly, they maintain their fallacy. Whoever does not descend on a cloud and lift me up into the kingdom of heaven is not the return of the Lord Jesus. They wildly resist and condemn Almighty God. This is all true. They keep the Lord Jesus in name, yet resist and condemn Almighty God. Is that any different from when the Pharisees kept the name of Messiah but condemned the Lord Jesus? It's right. not different at all. Right. 
is their essence not the same as the Pharisees? Stubborn, arrogant, disobeys truth, and hates the truth. Yes. Yes. They just believe in the vague God in heaven. And in turn, they deny, resist, and condemn Christ incarnate. They're rivals who are in enmity with Christ. Are they not just antichrists, denying, condemning, and resisting Christ? Amen. Amen. Yes. The Bible says, As you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. Amen. Amen. For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an Antichrist. Amen. Amen. Therefore, all who don't acknowledge God incarnate are antichrists. Yes. yes. All who resist and condemn Christ are antichrists. That's right. That's I right. agree. Therefore, the Jewish Pharisees were exposed as antichrists by the Lord Jesus' work. The pastors and elders in the last days are all antichrists that are exposed by Almighty God's work. How could he Amen. say that? God incarnate's work truly exposes people. Everything Christ expresses in the last days is truth. Not only does it expose the wise and foolish virgins, in addition, it also exposes all varieties of antichrists and non-believers. Yes. This is a truth that no one is able to deny. Yes. God's work is truly wise and almighty. Indeed, that is clear. Brothers and true. sisters, the religious leaders in the last days and the Jewish chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees share the same roots and essence in their resistance to God. The ways that pastors and elders resist God are far worse than those of the scribes, the chief priests, and the Pharisees. Ever since Almighty God started doing His work of judgment from God's house, people of every sect have been raptured and brought before God's throne if they love truth and long for God's appearance. Amen. Amen. It's true. Thank the Lord. Thank, Thank the Lord. Lord that it is so. The pastors and the elders stop at nothing to resist and condemn Almighty God, all to constrain the faithful and maintain their standing. They spread rumors, bear false witness, and blaspheme Almighty God. They seal off the church and strictly forbid believers from studying Almighty God's work in the last days. Yeah, they, really are too they threaten, scare, ridicule, and beat brothers and sisters who spread the gospel of the kingdom. They even collude with the devilish CCP to capture and persecute them, leaving hundreds of thousands of brothers and sisters without a home. At least 100,000 people have been brutally tortured by the CCP. Many have even been killed. That's true. The pastor's resistance of Almighty God is greater than was the Pharisees' resistance of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Their evil deeds are quite numerous. Therefore, Almighty God judged and cursed them long ago. Amen. Amen. Let us read Almighty God's words. Okay. 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 Page 894. Almighty God says, How many seek the truth and follow righteousness? They are all beasts like pigs and dogs, leading a gang of stink flies in a dung heap to wag their heads and incite disorder. They believe that their king of hell is the most superior of kings, without realizing that they are nothing more than flies on rot. With green wings upon their backs, this refers to their claiming to believe in God, they begin to become conceited and boast everywhere of their own beauty and attractiveness. Secretly casting away their impurities onto man, and they are even smug, as if 
a pair of rainbow-colored wings could conceal their own impurities, and thus they persecute the existence of the true God. This refers to the inside story of the religious world. Little does man know that, though the wings of the fly are beautiful and enchanting, it is after all no more than a minuscule fly that is full of filth and covered with germs. On the strength of their pigs and dogs of parents, they run amok across the land. This refers to the religious officials who persecute God on the basis of strong support from the country betraying the true God and the truth with overwhelming ferocity. It is as if the ghosts of the Jewish Pharisees have returned along with God to the nation of the great red dragon, back to their old nest. They have again begun their work of persecution continuing their work spanning several thousand years. This group of degenerates is sure to perish on earth in the end. Amen. Amen. The words expressed by Almighty God were publicly shared online in print and TV a long time ago. Different types of gospel videos have already been posted throughout the internet to testify God's manifestation and work to the whole world. Yes. This has caused a shock in the religious community and in mankind. Pastors and elders in the religious community have perceived the growing trend. Almighty God's words are conquering religious community and humanity. That's right. No person and no force is able to stop it. Yes. That's right. They become irritated and so frantically resist and even condemn Almighty God. They seek to outlaw Almighty God's work in the last days and to obtain eternal control of the religious world and also hegemony over God's chosen people. Yes, it's so true. These facts prove that the religious pastors and elders in the last days are the reappearance of the Pharisees. Yes. They are antichrists that seek to destroy God's work and have even sworn to the death to be enemies of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that sounds right, doesn't it? Their many evil deeds already have provoked God's disposition. How can they escape God's righteous judgment and punishment? Amen. Amen. This is indeed the truth. This is all true. Pastors and elders will say anything in condemnation of God to protect their meal tickets. Yes, yes right. They'll do any evil deed in resistance of God. Yes. yes. These people are truly evil, despicable, and vicious. They are demons reincarnated. They should be cursed and hated. Amen. Amen. Correct. We should all expose and reject them. We simply must make a clean break from them. We can't play a part in their evil deeds. That is in accordance with God's will. That's yes. right. Pastors and elders often made us guard against antichrists. And yet it turns out they're the real antichrists. That's yes. Right. Like a thief crying, stop thief. Yes. yes. In the past, we were ignorant and blind but now we're all able to see their true face. Thank, Thank God. God. Why do you always group the pastors and elders in with the Pharisees? Yeah! Almighty God's work exceeds the Bible. Pastors and elders resist Almighty God in order to protect the Bible. Amen. Could it be that they are wrong to do that? No. Brother Zhang is right. Pastors and elders often interpret, exalt, and protect the Bible. Amen. How can they be resisting the Lord? That's right. Are those who interpret the Bible incapable of resisting yes. the Lord? The Jewish chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees interpreted and maintained the Bible. Why didn't they acknowledge the Lord Jesus when he worked? Why'd they capture the Lord Jesus and even persecute his disciples? That's right. Yes, that's right. The Pharisees interpreted and protected the Bible. Why did the Lord Jesus condemn and curse them then? How is this explained? 